Okay, I'm going to try to make this a fairly quick video. This is all of the parts that were changed in a Tram D201 hand-wired version. And, you know, I thought I'd show you, you know, some people ask, do I really need all these high-wattage resistors changed? So here is literally laying in front of, well, not you, laying in front of me, but in, for you to view is every component that was replaced in the radio. So... All of the 2-watt resistors, there's a couple 1-watts in here, and there's a couple other smaller ones that were replaced because they were bad. You know, you see they'd been warm and hot over time. Here's all the capacitors, and this is the one that someone had, you know, done the easiest way to say it is crappy job of installing these electrolytics. They just cut the leads off and tack soldered them. A couple of the, you know, ceramic or sand block resistors, the can capacitors, um, and then the AC line safety cap, and then the uh, DC blocking cap. But what I want to show is, is the actual values of what some of these resistors are, and how far out of tolerance they are. Now in these Tram D201 hand wires, pretty much all the, the factory resistors, if you look at any of them, the fourth band indicates the tolerance, okay? So the first two are the actual, you know, digits, the third is your multiplier, and the fourth is the tolerance percentage. And in the majority of the resistors in a Tram D201, it's going to be a silver band, and that's 10%. So, in the case of these resistors, brown, black, orange, silver, that's 1, 0, and then the orange makes this a 10K, or 10,000 ohm. So, a 10,000 ohm resistor, plus or minus 10%. So 10% of a thousand is going to be a hundred. So this resistor should not measure more than 1,100 ohms or less than 900. That would keep it within its tolerance range. So I have an ohm meter set up here and a set of grabby fingers to grab some of these resistors and we'll check them. So let's start with a couple of these 10Ks. Actually, with 10K, we can drop down to the 20K scale. So that one measures 11 point, or 11,836. So, out of tolerance. Not by a drastic amount, but it is out of tolerance. Grab the next one. 12.312, or 12,312. Again, out of tolerance. 11,510, out of tolerance. Eleven thousand five hundred and two, out of tolerance. Now we're getting to the holy smokes. 13,631 ohms, definitely out of tolerance. 14,489. So remember, this is a 10,000 ohm resistor. 10% 10, 10 would mean it should be no more than, I think I said 1,000. Uh, that was actually 11,000 or uh, 11,000 ohms. So, still way out of, you know, that, that's drastically out of tolerance. So, let's check some of these other ones. Uh, okay, we have here, get it in camera. Red, violet, orange, so that's two, seven, so that's going to be with the three, 27,000 ohms. So let's see, I think there's what, two of those. We'll see what they measure. Increase the scale range on the meter. Yep, 36,000. That's going to be out of tolerance. Not looking good for the old carbon composition resistors, is it? 30,000. Eh, that's not too drastically bad, but that is definitely out of tolerance. Well, let's try some other ones here. We've got, and we can reduce the scale range, because this one's going to be red, red, brown, so that's 220 ohms. So we'll go to the 2K range. So, it's supposed to be 220, it's measuring 256.7, so that's not bad.
244. Again, not bad. Uh, let's try this one. What do we got here? Okay, this one is a brown, black, yellow. So that's one zero, and that's going to make this a hunt. The yellow band is going to make this a hundred K or a hundred thousand ohms. Well, now a hundred thousand ohms, ten percent of a hundred thousand is ten thousand. So this should be no more than a hundred and ten thousand. And you can see 131,210, so out of tolerance. And here's probably some of the worst ones. These two little guys right here, okay, these were in the meter circuit, which was out of whack. If you can see that, these are yellow, violet, orange, and again, silver tolerance. Now, these are smaller, these are quarter watts, but so. These should measure 47,000 ohms. Holy shit, Batman. Yeah, that's about the size of it. 65,780 ohms. Now hold on to your pants, because it gets worse. And this, this resistor looks good. I mean, to look at it physically... It does not look burnt. There's no bubbling of the paint. The glyptal, you can see it's still nice and shiny. The glyptal hasn't cooked out of it. But you hook it up to the meter, mm, it's still flashing. <laughs> it's in the 200,000 ohm scale. It's 47,000 ohm resistor. So let's increase to the 2 mega ohm. Yeah, holy jumping jackrabbits, Batman. 312,000 ohms out of a 47,000 ohm resistor. I'd have to get the calculator out to figure out how many percent that is out of tolerance. And that's why the meter circuit was so out of whack in that radio. But I thought I'd just do a quick showing. So, you know, there's all the resistors I just checked. You know, and that's, you know, maybe, uh, what... Just pile them up here. What so what do we got? Maybe a third, a quarter to a third of them. You know, and you can see how far some of those are out of tolerance. And there's obviously other ones in here. They're going to be just as bad. You can see how bubbled and baked these things are. So that's why we replace all these resistors. You know, it's kind of like electrolytic capacitors. Um, these, actually, I can't say all of them, because these two are film type. Now, these were factory installed. Now, these would have been more expensive for TRAM to use these. These are those two uh, 47Ks. You can see these are also same as those two real small ones we just did. These are yellow, violet, orange. But these are going to be a lot more resistant to changing values over a period of time, like these are, because these are carbon composition. They were fine for probably the first decade or two, but um, they've definitely outlived their usefulness. Uh, you know, they're, they're not the most reliable resistors in the world. Um, it's what they used back then. It's what they had. You know, I guess composite or film resistors had just started to come around at that time. And like I said, they used them in these two, three watt resistors, but that was pretty much the extent of them using film film resistors. So, you know, when I install, I always replace, I always use the modern metal film flame proof type, but uh, that's why we change these parts. So you can just imagine all these parts that far out of tolerance, you know, and these, these resistors are all throughout your radio, oscillator circuits, receiver circuits, amplifier, you know, audio, RF frequency amplification circuits. So, you know, you, you stick one or two out of tolerance resistors in every circuit. Just imagine what that's doing to it. So that's why I always tell people in a lot of cases, if you change the resistors and the capacitors, and, and it doesn't have to be a tram, it can be anything old and tube type, but change your resistors and capacitors. A lot of times, all those problems you have go away. Do an alignment, and that might be all it needs. Now, occasionally, like I said, I had a few more small resistors I had to change, but other than that, the parts you see here fixed everything, so consider it uh, just good scheduled maintenance every few, you know, every several decades. This is what you do. I just wanted to show, though, how far out of whack some of these things can get.